other guys show up, yeah. we can start to do like if Richard is ready, yeah. we can start because we have so many cameras. Yeah. Because a few of things with the uh, flock is just insert. So we're gonna shoot in just a moment. I'm just waiting for uh, front of house to be set. All right. All right. Stand by. They're just recueing. Paris war immer schon bei uns eine besondere Stadt. Die Konzerte hier besonders äh, emotional sind und die Stimmung ist immer sehr gut. Und das Bercy speziell äh, ist ein, auf, ein, ein Ort für uns, äh, wo wir immer sehr, sehr gute Konzerte haben. On stage are my favorites. They're fucking on song on stage. The best man in the world, that's all I can say. <laughs> Music, the ambience, the show, there is no other band that can do the same as Ramstein. 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 Can't even smoke in a car anymore. No man, you know. What's happening with the French? Eh? <laughs> They're always like we're rebelling against everything now. Just keeping it in the pants. <laughs> There's something about this venue, Bercy, that's kind of insane and there's a lot of energy, you know, and especially French people are just going nuts, you know. But at the very beginning of the show, the band comes out, stage left, the bridge will be descending, basically nothing is happening on the main stage till the band gets in and walks over. We have 10 cameras. Three cameras mounted in the ceiling. And then we have two more cameras floating in the audience on the floor. And then we have 10 GoPros, which are these little miniature cameras that are placed around. So I guess 25 altogether. And then we do two nights of this. Concert films is, is always a big challenge. I compare it to like shooting fireworks. It's really a, a challenge to bring the audience to that place. So I think I have like eight songs for you to do the whole song. Oh, okay. Okay. Which one we start? We start from the beginning. So it's Sonne. Okay. Uh, yes, we start with Sonne. Okay, here we go with Bringa. Let's roll cameras, please.
Äh, weil wir aus äh, Deutschland kommen und äh, speziell aus dem Osten von Deutschland, äh, haben wir uns immer nicht so richtig international gefühlt, so eher so lokal. Aber Jonas ist zum Beispiel jemand, der uns das Gefühl gibt, dass wir eine internationale Band sind und dass wir ähm, auch eine Berechtigung haben weltweit. The way I approach it is that it is shooting a live show, but I'm trying to translate the energy that you that you get in the room into film. I try with every trick in the book to make as much impression as I can on on the on the audience. I'm using a lot of cameras, a lot of different angles, a lot of close-ups, and then on top of that I add editing and sound effects and strong colors, and just to make the experience even close to what the live experience is. First time we met Jonas was doing the video Man gegen Mann. I think that he understands the band. I know exactly what it is I need. Okay, so you sound yeah. quite happy. Because yesterday I'm, I had like all these cameras and all the mayhem, the communication didn't work, and, and I started to look through the stuff. You know? And we have so many cameras, we only need to do it once. He just has this, this, this rhythm as a, as a musician. He used to be a drummer, you know, and you can really see that in his edits, you know. I'm risking sounding a little cocky, but this precision in a concert film, I don't think that would ever happen again. I don't think there's a band or a team of editors that would put in the effort like this ever again. I think this is really one of a kind. They're not like other metal bands. They give us another thing. Uh, very great shows, a lot of big shows on stage. When you've been to a Ramstein show and then you go to another show, it doesn't compare. So you have to get your fix and you have to come back. More Ramstein, more flames. The vision was always clear that we, we want to recreate the stage. You know, I was at front of house in Paris and I remember the feeling of how exciting it was and I've been always having this as my goal to uh, recreate that feeling I had. You had to overdo it in, in how we mix. Overdo the audience, overdo the band. And then, you know, it started to connect with the pictures that Jonas had. This was going to be something different. So in order for us to meet his visual challenge and his vision for that, took us a lot of work to, to really so squeeze everything out of my recordings. Zu, jeder, zu jedem Album gehen wir auf Tour und wir denken uns jedes Mal eine Show aus mit, einem, mit verschiedenen Effekten. Diesmal, äh, weil es um ein Best-of-Album geht, Made in Germany, ähm, versuchen wir praktisch eine Quintessenz aus allen Effekten, die wir so im Laufe der Jahre entwickelt haben. 300 pyro effects per show, 80 kilograms of lycopodium, 40 liters of isoparaffin and confetti. Manchmal wird es schon ganz schön heiß, wenn man mal genau hinguckt, es ist dann immer Ventil, so ein bisschen in die Knie geht oder wir uns so wegdrehen, dann hat man immer Angst, dass einen die Augenbrauen ansengen. Yeah, it's adrenaline rush. <laughs> like from the beginning to the end. You have to be concentrated, like 100% concentrated. Everything is manual and you need to watch where is the band, where is the flame. We're in constant radio contact with the whole team. 
exchanging information, who's where, is it safe to shoot. Out of experience, I can tell you from the heat on my face when I press the buttons, exactly where I have to stop not to hurt the band. You can uh, raise the temperature a little bit and then it comes to a certain point where you just know that is where you have to stop. They seem to be getting hotter on the front row. I looked and the whole front row leaned back. I mean, who wants to go and see a band and sit there? <laughs> Playing in Rammstein is always like, you know, because everything is so well organized and, you know, well timed. There's no space for improvisation, which uh, can be, you know, a big burden sometimes. So we came up with the idea that we would have like a B stage to get actually closer to the audience. To do something like that, like playing on a B stage, you know, it felt more improvised and more loose and more organic and more human kind of, you know. It's important to show, you know, that we can actually perform some songs without like a lot of effects, you know. It's just a small stage, you know, and the band is there and it's just performing. And it's important just to play a song sometimes in the feel it's about music, you know. Tout simplement, Ramstein, c'est le meilleur groupe allemand. Euh, sur scène et euh, leur musique, c'est euh, le top, quoi. Un niveau euh, pyrotechnique et mise en scène, il euh, a pas de meilleur, quoi. C'est le meilleur groupe de métal euh, du moment. I think one of the secrets between Rammstein, because especially we're not singing in, in, in English, it's it's the energy that's coming actually from stage, you know, with the music, with the fire, with the light, and then pulling it out to the audience, you know, and then you wait until it's coming back. Constantly exchanging between energy from, from the band and the crowds, you know, and it's so important, otherwise it doesn't really become a good show. just a bunch of kids trying, you know, new tools, you know, it's, there was no desperation, there was no plan, there was just uh, the idea of doing something different. <laughs>